Well, Classroom to Career is part of our Hiring Hoosiers initiative. Of course, we're connecting people to jobs and job opportunities. And we all know that students can go some different paths after high school, right? Maybe college or right into the workforce if they're ready. We hope they're all ready, right? Yeah. Because Noblesville High School students are getting the tools that they need to prepare for the real world. <laughs> Our Aaron Lish joining us live this morning up in Hamilton County outside of Noblesville High School. And Aaron, this is where they're getting their students classroom to career ready. They really are. Students are getting to discover their passions, build their confidence, voice their opinions, and ask questions in this real world experience here through the Noblesville High School internship program. Noblesville student Jack Judy looks up his internship at Ambassador Medical, learning the process of creating medical equipment. Um, I'm looking forward to working people who are in the field um, who can teach me more about engineering and so they can help me make the final decision of is this something I want to pursue in college. He's one of more than 300 seniors at Noblesville High in the internship program. Our goal is to make them marketable and more competitive in the long run as they pursue their career pathway. They can leave school for their internships for up to three hours every other day. The Chamber of Commerce says students are providing new insight for businesses. Uh, things like social media that were probably not on the radar screen of most businesses uh, you know, a decade ago, now they have to do something and they're not sure what to do. And these students are helping those, those uh, businesses work through all those ideas. One former student who interned with the city's planning and development team says this helped her grow. Um, it really brought me out of my shell. I had to go in and meet all these new people in an office, um, ex kind of learn to ask for help in things that I didn't understand. Jack hopes to have the success like Abigail, who's now in college for architecture, thanks to this internship program. I know so many people who have switched majors because they didn't know what it truly entailed, what their major meant. And this program has really helped me find out what I wanted to do. So we wish luck to Jack and, of course, Abigail. And something else that they learned through this internship program is soft skills. So responsibility, initiative, and, of course, confidence. So tomorrow we have a great opportunity here on Good Morning Indiana. We will be taking you to the automotive industry and how one student has gained thousands of dollars worth of tools for free. We'll show you why that is the case. But for now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.